Now you can take a two mile deep tour of the Titanic, so long as you can afford $100,000 a ticket. It is the shipwreck that continues to have untold fascination more than a century on. And now the wreckage of the RMS Titanic will be opened up to tourists, at £86,500 per ticket for those willing to embark on the white knuckle trip two miles under the sea in a minute submarine. From May next year a London-based tour operator, Blue Marble Private, will run eight-day trips to the Titanic's final resting place. To make it to the wreckage, the intrepid sightseers will fly by helicopter from Newfoundland to the expedition's support yacht in the cold and treacherous waters of the North Atlantic. After spending two days aboard the yacht, they will endure a five-hour dive to the decaying remains of the Titanic on the seabed on a special submersible, designed to reach the immense depths. Here, accompanied by deep ocean experts, they will sail over the ship's deck and should be able to glimpse many of its most famous sights, including its famous grand staircase. The trip will be open to just nine people at a time and comes with an eye-watering price tag of £86,500 a ticket. Taking inflation into account, this is the equivalent of a first-class ticket to board the Titanic when it set sail on its doomed maiden voyage in 1912. The trip is described by the London-based travel firm as a once-in-a-lifetime experience and an expedition designed only for those with a truly adventurous spirit. The first dive will take place next May and a second is planned for the summer of 2019. While Blue Marble Private is selling seats on the trips for wealthy explorers, described as mission specialists, they will be run by Ocean Gate Expeditions. Stockton Rush, Ocean Gate's chief executive, told Forbes, since her sinking 105 years ago. Fewer than 200 people have visited the wreck. Less than have flown to space or climbed Mount Everest, so this is an incredible opportunity. But he added, we recognize that the entire site is a memorial, and we undertake our mission with great respect for those who lost their lives in the sinking. The company, based in Everett, Washington, owns and operates two five-person submersibles but is building a new craft called Cyclops II to visit Titanic. Renata Rogers, a 49-year-old banker in New York, has already put down a deposit for the trip, and told Forbes that it was her life's dream to visit the wreckage. Only 140 people have completed the dive to see the Titanic's decaying remains in the century since the ship sank. The wreckage was not discovered until 1985, and the bow and the stern of the boat, which split in two as it was sinking, lie nearly 2,000 feet apart on the ocean floor. The ship sank on April 14, 1912, four days into its voyage from Southampton to New York taking the lives of 1,517 of the 2,224 passengers and crew aboard. In recent years there has been a resurgence of interest in the Titanic disaster, which was famously depicted in the 1997 film starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet. In 2012, to mark the centenary of the sinking of the ship, the Titanic Belfast Museum opened on the site of the shipyard where the liner was built. Last year, the museum was named as the world's best tourist attraction at the World Travel Awards. RMS Titanic by Numbers Construction Timeline, 1909-1912 Cost, Pound 1.5 million Maiden Voyage, April 10, 1912 Passengers, 2,223. Crew, 885. Length, 882 feet 9 in. Height, 174 feet. Lifeboat capacity, 1,178. Decks, 9. Maximum speed, 24 knots. Construction Company, Harland and Wolf Shipyard in Belfast.